Are you struggling with kicking the ball? Let's fix it. Today, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to hit the ball precisely. I see some players that uh, hit it with the tip of the toe. If you use this kind of kickers, it will end up on you lifting a lot of balls and making a lot of penalties and not being consistent at all. Even with the plus kickers that end up with a tip toe square, of course, you won't leave that much balls, but still you won't have that much precision. We have to kick it around this area. Why? Because this way, you don't have that much control, and this way, it will get too close to our body, so still. Even when we hit it with the interior of the foot, I see a lot of players that uh, kick the ball as if they were playing football. The problem with this is, as the hockey ball is so small, we have to be way more precise. Kicking the ball like a football player doesn't work normally because you'll end up making a mistake and giving the ball to uh, an attacker or just making the ball go underneath your foot and scoring a goal. Of course you don't want that, but there's a way to solve that. So when I was learning it, I was told to think about my lack of being a golf club. Like this. So it's not a movement like football, it's like a golf club. With the golf club technique, we have our foot longer on the ground, which even if we mess up, the ball will still hit our kicker and go to the direction we are pointing. Once we are done with kicking the ball correctly with our foot, we need to use the rest of our body, follow with our weight on the ball to give it power. Why is it? If we don't follow through with our body, something like this could happen. The ball ends up right in front of us and the striker could score. Of course, we don't want that. So this way, with a smaller motion of our leg, will give way much power than we don't do it. Something like that. You see? And I see a lot of young goalies that actually make this mistake when doing it like a footballer. Because footballers usually hit it uh, with just their legs. But in this case, we're putting all our weight on the ball. So to practice this, we can do this exercise with the static balls. Just when you go with your right leg, aim at that post. And when you aim with your left foot, aim to the left post. Of course, we don't have to hit it every time, but we need to be close. That's what will make us consistent. If you're with your goalie coach, this is an idea of how to practice it too with the ball moving. Of course, uh, try to exaggerate it a lot with the weight in this situation. So for the real life, of course, you do you, but uh, I think when you're practicing it, the way of exaggerating it will help you to do it when you're with your teammates. For the last tip, it's just an extra step of the last one. Uh, you have to actually recover the motion and end up with both feet where you do the movement. Because otherwise, you'll just save it, but then you won't be able to follow the play if you give a rebound and you don't want it. You want to keep the movement and be ready for the next ball. So yeah, that's it. These are a few tips that maybe will help you. Feel free to use them. And if you enjoy the content, please let me know by hitting the like button, subscribing and commenting what would you like to learn next. <laughs> Does it look real?